Hello. So this video, we are going to be talking about sort of mathematical reasoning and in particular, this idea about mathematics as a language. So in reality, mathematics really is its sort of own type of language. And that's sort of confusing because, you know, it's not like we have radically different sort of vocabulary per se, so much as we sort of reassign what words mean. So that can be sort of very difficult to understand at first glance. A good sort of introduction to this process, though, is what seems like a pretty simple, straightforward question. How much does water weigh, right? So if I ask, you know, 100 people this question, I might get all kinds of answers back, right? And the thing is, is that those answers, sort of no matter what they are, are almost certainly not correct, not because what they tell me is incorrect, maybe they have perfectly factually accurate statements, but because this question is sort of too vague to actually do anything with. And this sort of gets to the heart of why math has its own language or its own sort of way of using language is because mathematics, we have to be really precise before we can really do much of anything, right? Like if this were a question on a math test, how would you even begin to think about this, right? But the reality is, is like this is a sort of, this is a mathematical question, just not in a mathematical language setting. And that's sort of the process of mathematical reasoning that's difficult is going from this question to something you can use. So by way of sort of example, hopefully you've thought about this a little bit and maybe got an answer yourself. I say, okay, how much does water weigh? Well, how much water, right? So if I ask 100 people how much does water weigh and they give me a bunch of numbers or answers or whatever, and then I ask people, okay, what were you thinking about as water, right? As a type of water or quantity of water, some people might be like, oh, I was thinking like a milk jug right, or a glass of water, or a lake, or the ocean, or all water in the universe. Obviously, the answer you get is going to be radically different, not because, you know, they're necessarily wrong, although coming up with a number for all water in the universe would be impressive if you were correct. But nonetheless, not because the answer was wrong so much as we didn't have the same understanding of the question, right? And what's worse is like, okay, what if we said, it was a glass. Everybody came back, right? All 100 people were like, oh, no, I was definitely thinking of a glass of water. Well, okay, fair enough. But how big is the glass, right? Are we talking a 16-ounce glass? Are we talking an 8-ounce glass? Are we talking a shot glass? Are we talking, you know, a, like a stein or something, like a beer stein, right? Like a glass, again, is not actually specific enough. It's not precise enough. Moreover, how full is the glass, right? I want to know how much the water weighs, not how much the glass weighs. Is it half full, three quarters full, empty, right? Then the water weighs nothing, hooray, <laughs> right? So again, even if I knew it was a glass, and even if I said it was a 16 ounce glass, still not precise enough, right? Finally, what kind of water, right? Like water does have different forms. Is it ice? That would have a different density and thus weigh a different amount. Is it liquid? It's probably what people were mostly thinking of because we usually think of water in its liquid form, but it could be steam for all we know, right? So again, in order to sort of get at this thing, we need to be much more precise about what we might be asking. And we can, we can go down this rabbit hole all day. So I'm going to sort of, hopefully I've made my point. I'm going to stop here. But this is the process is going from how much does water weigh, right? That might be what somebody asks you. And you have to sort of flip it back and ask them a bunch of questions and be like, okay, what you really want to know is how much does one liter of, say, liquid, right, room temperature water weigh? That's what you really wanted to know. You just didn't actually sort of say that when you said how much does water weigh, right? And this can be why well, it can be very frustrating <laughs> to talk to math people sometimes because you might ask a question that seems obvious to you and all you get back is a thousand more questions. And it's not because they're trying to be difficult. It's because this is sort of how the math process works is we have to take what you think is a specific question and make it really precise enough that then the math person can actually do something with that piece of information, okay? So mathematical reasoning, this whole idea of like applying logic, formulas, variables, all of these things, it really only works with very specific kinds of information. In particular, very specific sort of precise information. I need to know like one liter, not just water, 
right? I need to know that it's liquid or solid or vapor or whatever. And as a result of that, translating that sort of colloquial language, right, going from how much does water weigh to I really want to know how much one liter of room temperature liquid water weighs, that's usually the hardest part. Like that's usually where a lot of the effort comes in. So we're sort of going to be spending a little bit of time of trying to figure out how to do that process to go from sort of a typical colloquial question, something that somebody might actually ask you in day-to-day -day conversation, to how do you actually make that into something that you could actually use a mathematical tool on if that's sort of the appropriate tool to use, okay? All right, so what do we do? Well, we talked about this idea of mathematical reasoning, in particular, the sort of language or linguistic aspect, the fact that really mathematical reasoning only works on this really sort of precisely stated information, that you need a lot of precision in order to actually even begin to use tools. You need to quantify stuff, you need to qualify stuff. And so a lot of this sort of process of using math in the real world or trying to model something mathematically, a lot of that is actually just doing that translation, just going from you said this thing, what you meant was this other thing that seems ridiculously sort of technical how I've rephrased it, but now that I've done that, I can actually start doing things like assigning variables and plugging into formulas and sort of deducing what the answer that you're after is now that I know precisely what it is you're after. Okay, so that is that.